Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Todd McFarlane took to his YouTube's, Twitter's, all that good stuff to show off in, in more detail. These were already kind of revealed, but the upcoming Page Punchers, this is a three-inch DC line. So far, we'll see if they do uh, any other characters within it. I wouldn't mind some image characters, right? A little spawn, a little three-inch spawn. That would be awesome. But these are kind of a collaboration between the newly acquired DC Direct. So it's McFarlane slash DC Direct. You get a three-inch figure. You get a comic book inside, all for $9.99, which is not too shabby, right? You have the uh, the Marvel 375s, right? You get a figure. You get some nice card art, right? But you don't get the comic, and that's I really like that. I like that you get the comic, and uh, we'll, we'll see how these go, right? They are a different scale. You know, they're kind of like Mego Pocket Superheroes in that general. Thing. They're going to be probably their own scale, much like the Marvel 375s. But uh, before we get started, as usual... Uh, when it pertains, all the pre-order links will be down below. So as of this video, yes, they are available. So I'll have Amazon links, Entertainment Earth, anywhere else. Thanks for using my links. They will help the channel to grow. So let's just jump right into it. The first wave will have Superman. This is Superman from Rebirth. He's got the blues, largely blue. Now, you can definitely see that, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool overall packaging, right? You got kind of like a, it looks like a plastic clamshell and uh, the comic book, right? Page punchers, which is kind of like a, a comic book industry term, right? It, it's an odd term, but at the same time, I, I mean, I get it. It's, it's, it's fun. It's cool, right? You got the uh, three-inch Superman right there in the little bubble, right? And then you have, and this is interesting, it says includes English comic book, which uh, leads me to believe that eventually, or maybe even coming sooner rather than later, there will be other languages, Spanish, things of that nature uh, that you can buy, or depending on, you know, where you kind of get them, they will have alternate languages for the comic books. But Superman, you can tell right off the bat, right? Right? You can you paint the boots red and all that kind of stuff, the uh, shorts, the trunks. You can have a, a classic-looking Superman, which that's where I'm going to kind of go more for these. You know what I mean? I really like that classic look. That's why I did like the Marvel 375s. The prices keep going up, you know what I mean, for what you get. But uh, you need to include more weapons and such. Same with these, the more weapons, most definitely. But, uh, yeah, five points of articulation on these. The face sculpt, I mean, for as tiny as they are, Superman doesn't look too off, but you can see these uh, photos really show everything off more in detail. You can see they kind of have like that photo print for the hair and possibly for the eyes. The one thing I will say that's missing, though, let's say a lot of people go either way on this, right? The Superman symbol that should be on the back of the cape. Whether or not that's on the rebirth, depending on who draws it, whether or not they keep that and everything else, if they do a classic Superman I think that they should definitely put that print on the back of his cape. I'm used to more Superman the Animated Series where he doesn't have it, so I kind of go either way. But if you're doing more comic book type stuff, then yeah, I feel like they should use it. Plus, it, it just brings back, that's just like the classic Superman right there, right? So I digress, Page Punchers, figure number one, Rebirth Superman. And of course, next up, we have Black Adam. And because of the costume, because of the comic book included, you can largely call this guy, yeah, it's Black Adam, Endless Winter Black Adam. This is the number one special that they include. Again, same exact type packaging, includes English comic book. Black Adam looks pretty darn cool. It It's fairly, we'll say, kind of newish. Not really old school, which, again, I would totally prefer. I can't say based on the photos of this in particular, the, the eyes, you know, it all kinds of a little, a little funky, looks a little Eddie Munster-ish, you know what I mean? But uh, it's always better, right, when you have these things in hand. You can't go off the press promo photos, especially for McFarlane sometimes, let's just be honest. But, uh, you know, in, in that case, it's the same thing as Superman, printed, all that kind of stuff, painted hair. He does come with a really cool cape. That's something that the Endless Winter Black Adam, I feel, was definitely missing. Maybe they'll go uh, second pass, more classic look for Black Adam. But largely black, yellow, he's got some flesh tone for the hands and the face, five points of articulation. Overall, I would say he's uh, he's around the same kind of feelings towards, uh, you know, I have for Superman. It's, it's okay but not the ideal look for Black Adam. But in either case, if you need him, you can grab him now, which then speeds us into the Flash. And from far away, I thought, oh, you know, that's a fairly classic-looking Flash, even though it's uh, it's based off Flashpoint number one, which 
man, they've really taken that and ran with it. Right now they're into Flashpoint 2 at this point. Uh, but, uh, you know, looking at the figure up close, he does have, and, and this is kind of like for most of them, when you look at a McFarlane 7-inch DC Multiverse figure, they have that added detail in the costumes and such, which, yeah, for the most part, sometimes the comic book artwork will have. But he's largely kind of just flashed, except when you get to the head where he does have the lightning bolts around the helmet. And uh, I, I don't mind this. I actually think that he looks and fares the best in terms of a rebirth-type look, where I wouldn't mind it too much. So... Yeah, if I if I see the flash, uh, I'd probably pick this guy up. Most definitely, I like the way that uh, you know the yellows and the reds. It does largely look like a classic Flash. Again, I, I would like the more classic characters. Rebirth, the you know the whole modern DC. It, it kind of goes either way with me. I like the costume. Necessarily not liking the source material with the comic book storylines. But largely the figures are a lot of fun, right? But yeah, again, and kind of looking at him up close, nice details, nice look for the Flash. So if you need him, Flash point your way down to the pre-orders below. Which brings us to Batman, the Page Puncher Batman. And of course there's going to be a Batman figure, right? And I got to tell you, out of all four Page Punchers, Batman takes the cake on this one. I like the head sculpt. I like the blues and the blacks. He's very much the Jim Lee hush Batman in so many ways. So... This is the one, uh, you know, out of all of them, I would definitely, definitely grab. He's the closest to, let's say, even a classic-looking Batman. I'm really, as I'm getting older, I'm really liking the the blue and the gray Batman again. Like when I was a little kid, you know, then it goes to Batman the Animated Series, and it goes to largely all black. And, you know, I mean, it's like the Ninja Turtles. Everything changes over the years to your favorite turtle. Well, my favorite costume for Batman now is... Basically the blues and the grays. So yeah, overall pretty nice. The one gripe nitpick I would say is, I mean, the, the the price point is pretty solid for a figure in a comic book. Definitely appreciate that. But to have one little accessory in there, you know, Batman with a battering, that would have been kind of cool. Superman, you don't really need anything. Flash, you don't really need anything. But when it comes to like Batman, you know what I mean? That would just be kind of cool. I won't get it in like firing mechanisms and play sets and all that just yet. Of course, that would be really cool. But uh, it's a different sort of scale, three inch. I think people are gravitating again. Star Wars collectors going from Black Series now seeing what the vintage collection is doing. It's better for a uh, display. You get more monsters, you get more vehicles in that sense. So yeah, it kind of depends, you know, on really where collecting is kind of going at the moment. But largely, I think a three inch line will do pretty well. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. I think the first wave is a solid lineup. You got the, well, we'll see with Ezra Miller and everything, Flashpoint movie coming up you got the black adam movie coming up superman batman those are going to sell no matter what so we'll see where they go next what characters would you like to see for wave two and beyond comment below let me know let's talk everything page punchers and thank you very much for watching my vid again pre-order links down below and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember i think uh, if i had to pick one right right off the bat <laughs> We need the weird. We got to put the weird somewhere in there, right? Or Mr. Bloom. Seven-inch scale page punchers, I don't care. Those are my wackadoo picks. So when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.